This is how the Schiaparelli space probe was supposed to land on Mars. First a heat shield, then a parachute, and lastly a propulsion system, all combining for a gentle landing on the red planet. But ExoMars Flight Operations Director Michel Denny says that's not what happened. Uh, this didn't land softly as we would have liked to, uh, because uh, the final phase of uh, descent and landing did not function nominally. During the final phase, the European Space Agency lost contact with the probe. Denny says they believe the parachute was released too early and the engines came on for too little time. So basically, Schiaparelli has reached the ground with a velocity which was much higher than it should, so several hundreds of kilometers per hour, and is uh, unfortunately then, of course, being uh, well uh, destroyed by, by the impact. When NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter passed by, it took photos of the landing zone, revealing a bright spot believed to be the parachute and a dark spot believed to be the impact crater. The probe was supposed to test technologies for a new rover scientists hope to send to Mars in 2020, but now they'll have to find out what exactly went wrong.